Hello, my lovelies. No, I don't think I'm too cool for school. This is what we're doing today. Um, glitter flying sunglasses. Can you see how glittery they are? They're really glittery. I promise. Um, not awesome though. But that's okay because I learned some things today while attempting this modification. <laughs> and I'm going to share them with you. I want to show you how I do it. And I'm going to show you where I went wrong, um, which was right at the start. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, because I've learned things. So this pair may not be super awesome, but my next pair will be because now I know what I did wrong. So uh, first of all, this is what they look like starting with uh, just pink plastic glasses. And of course, this is what they look like now, which is white-ish sparkle glasses. Um, and yes, even though they are not perfect, I'm going to wear them anyway because hello, this is me. So uh, let's roll our awesome footage, uh, which hopefully we'll edit this correctly. Uh, so first up, uh, sunglasses. Like I said, they're just cheap plastic ones. Um, I got some blue painter's tape uh, for covering the lenses. Mod Podge, the glitter stuff. Um, it's the extra glitter stuff too. Um, I started with makeup sponges. That was a mistake. Um, and then I have two kinds of glitter, like really large fleck and micro tiny fleck glitter um, because I wanted both kinds. Oh, and a piece of paper to catch that glitter because you're going to be spraying a whole lot of it or sprinkling a whole lot of it everywhere and it helps for cleanup and then you're less wasteful. So um, you want to cover the lenses with the painter's tape uh, because you don't want the stuff all up the part you're going to see. Um, and you can see. Well, yes, you can. You can see through mine. See the light back there? Yeah, so that worked. I can see you. Um, so the painter's tape was not the wrong choice. Um, as far as uh, making it fit, um, I ended up using an X-Acto knife uh, to cut um, pieces to fit that I couldn't make fit any other way. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you or not, but yeah, just an X-Acto knife. Um, worked great. Um, so after everything was covered, um, I then proceeded to use the makeup sponges to put on the glitter Mod Podge. Now, this was a mistake. I kept seeing all these ladies using Mod Podge using those sponge brushes, and I thought, well, I don't have one of those, but I have a makeup sponge. Seriously, stick with just a regular brush, like a well, mine are drying right now, <laughs> but basically just a brush, like a, like a regular brush, um, stick with a brush. You can get a much thinner coat with a brush. So, um, yeah. So I should have brushed it on instead of jabbed it on with the paint sponge because the paint sponge gave me too much and it gave me kind of an uneven coating. But after I put some on with the paint sponge, I then sprinkled on the large flat glitter first because I figured I wanted it to sparkle and the little stuff over top second um they're both you know white iridescent so it's just the way I did it you could do it the other way small first big second it's whatever you prefer um so yeah so that's what I did uh I did these first and then I did the um arms second and now the arms actually ended up pretty decent. Um, on the arms, I didn't put the little stuff. I left it with, I wish you could see, um, I left it with just the big fleck so it would look slightly different than the front for my own, I don't know, I was attempting to see what it would look like. Um, I will say I prefer the large fleck to the small fleck. Um, it, it's much more sparkle and I just think it looked cooler. So I shouldn't have used the tiny fleck. There's another lesson learned. <laughs> Stick with the big stuff. Um, any hoodles, yeah. So um, since I put on too much to begin with, it absolutely 
um, was not drying the way it usually does. Uh, thin coats dry really fast. Um, and I admit, I put it on a little thicker to give me enough time to sprinkle the glitter on, but it was too thick. So mine's a little lumpy and that's okay because hey, you live and you learn. Okay, so after I did both coats of the big fleck and the little fleck, um, I ended up doing three coats of just the straight glitter Mod Podge. Um, it dries clear with glitter, so all of the glitter underneath sparkles through, which is awesome. Um, the greatest thing about this, if you guys have ever made anything with Elmer's glue and glitter, you know it's fully glitterified, but every time you move it, glitter just sheds everywhere. You will see, I mean, you could probably see from my face, my hair, no glitter comes off of this stuff. It seals it in really, really well, and it still stays sparkly. Um, I don't think you guys can tell how sparkly this is. It's really sparkly, um, <laughs> but yeah, it uh, it absolutely uh, keeps the glitter from shedding at all. So we learned that, which is awesome and leads to so many more potential things. So any hoodles, um, once I got, uh, everything was dried enough to touch, et cetera, and my extra three coats, um, I pulled off the tape from the lenses. And this is when I ran into another little spot of trouble um, where I got really sloppy. One of the lenses came off beautifully, no problems. But one of them, I had just kind of slopped it on a little too much. I was not super neat, you guys. Um, and it stuck to the tape. So when I pulled the tape off, it kind of was stuck to the tape. So I just went ahead and ripped the tape off and yeah, so I had some little scrappy, stretchy stuff left over. I just took my fingernail and shoved it up underneath around the frame. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I took some video of that. Um, and it worked fine since it was still slightly tacky underneath there because that was the too thick coat, remember? Um, it went ahead and stuck down. Like it's not, it's not coming up. It's it's good. Um, yeah, I just, I just shoved it underneath in the, underneath the frame. So it's fine. And now I have white sparkly sunglasses, um, that I can see out of. And like I said, I'm going to wear them. Um, cause I don't particularly care that they look crafty because <laughs> look who it is. However, um, I am super psyched to know that the Mod Podge really does hold glitter on and keep your things glittery. That is good to know. Uh, however, I definitely, definitely do not recommend sponges. Use a brush. You can get a nice thin coat with the brush and it doesn't look heinous. So just going forward, just so you know. So that was today's Torn Tries. I glitterified some sunglasses that look okay, could have looked much better, but that's okay. We live and we learn. And now I have a much better idea of how to glitterify the next set of sunglasses, um, where it won't end up quite so lumpy. Um, but if you think about it, these definitely look like something Elsa would wear. They do sort of look like snow. So uh, if you're going with that theme, it totally works. Alrighty guys, I will see you next week with something else crafty. And yes, we're using Mod Podge again. Um, we're gonna try and stain some mason jars. Um, I know you guys have seen them, like the blue bell jars, ball jars, bell jars, ball jars, the mason jars. You guys know what mason jars are. Um, yeah, I've seen some, the like the turquoise blue ones. I've never actually seen them except for like the old original ones, but I found a tutorial on Pinterest, how we can make our own with Mod Podge and food coloring. So we're totally gonna try those. It requires us baking them in the oven. <laughs> that should be super fun. <laughs> but that's what we're doing next week. Okay, I will see you tomorrow with hair. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing, something. So uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Love you guys, bye.